Hello and welcome back to Skyblock Hardcore Mode, a game mode where I spawn over the void and have to survive on a single life. Because if I die, I lose it all. It's GG's game over. And last time we built this awesome moss farm and this amazing tree farm. Now we need to do a little bit more work on these guys because what I want to do right here is make a sorting system and an auto composter. That way we can ship bone meal from this moss farm as we let it run over to the tree farm. That way I don't have to worry about bone meal and we can just constantly keep going with the tree farm because we're gonna have to get a lot of lot of lot of supplies today because I want to put a relatively big build here. Uh, we're gonna make a nice little farmhouse here. It is I'm saying little and big at the same time. It's 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 just medium style build for me. It's a medium style build. So we're gonna do that because we need a heckin' ton of spruce because this is not gonna th that that's 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 not gonna cut it. And and we're gonna need warped wood, a lot of it. And I mean I mean a lot of it. So we're also going to build right over here a nice little a nice little mushy farm for the warped wood mushrooms as well as the crimson mushrooms. But for now, let's get started on this sorting system and shipping it over. Because that is the... Why do I have so many... Hi, cat. Cats aside, I started by turning off the farm and removing the old sorting system before adding in a new one. The first four set of chests are sorted and everything past that goes straight into the composter. So that we can ship it over to the tree farm and have bone meal for days. As I was doing this, I realized I needed to extend the platform out just to be a little bit safer before I built in the waterways and set up the system to go together. I decided to put the system together with acacia as it fits the vibe I'm going for here on the island, which is going to have a lot of pipe work and a lot of steampunky vibes as this is a floating island city, so it felt the most appropriate. However, as I was putting it together, some mistakes were made and this happened. What the heck just happened? I'm so sorry, I don't understand what just happened. What? Oh no! Oh no, I messed it up! Oh no. Oh no! Oh! These signs mean nothing now that I've broken it. I'll never financially recover. I have financially recovered and this system is on. It is working. Uh, if we come over here, you can hear these going, but I do have it set up to automatically ship right on over. If I ever want to turn it off because it's overflowing, I can. For now, I'm just going to let it do its thing. And let's see how much bone meal we've gotten so far. I don't expect it to be working very fast. I mean, it's not doing bad. It's not doing bad. Uh, I did add several of my- I think I added a stack and a half, maybe two stacks of my own bone meal into here to, to see if this all worked. But for now, we're gonna move on to the little mushy farm, which I want to put right over here. Which I feel like is a good space. It may not stay here forever because it is above ugh, the slime farm uh, ladder. But I do want to move the slime farm entrance at some point to, like, probably over here. That way we can do, like, a water elevator of some sort. But for now, let's get started. I want to put a bit of distance between this, right? So, uh, that, this needs to be five wide. So, that there. We're going to place our dropper like that. I'm going to put a block here and we're going to go boop, boop. And I'll put a block on top of that. I'm going to put the Nylium directly on top and another one to the side. And I don't think I have enough grass for this, but that's okay. So we're doing three, four, 
five, six, and seven. Three, three. This this extra nylium always messes me up. So, and then we'll go two out on either side of the center. One and two. And then we just gotta fill these bad boys in. But yeah, I don't think I have enough to fully fill this in. Nope, I am a couple short, but that's okay. Then I'm going to place these ones down here, like so. Push these up like that, put that one there. Uh, I do want to bring this around town. Let me grab our piston. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll pop out over here as well. Going to do this once again. However, this one I'm going to sit just a little further back. That way we have that little extra room to play with. The fact that I don't have all the dirt in is a little off-putting for me, but that's okay. I'll fix it in a second. We'll bring this out like that. Go one, two, three, four, and five there. Right, yeah, and I'm gonna just fill this in. Maybe I don't have to move that. I could probably just hide it alongside this, although I'm not really sure how I'm hiding this one. I have some idea of what's gonna hide the tree farm, but I haven't fully planned that out. The only thing I really know what I'm putting in is right here, which the space does not seem big enough for the build, but I know that it is which is a wild thing to think about. So then we'll connect these on up like this. I wanna bring this out a bit more, a lever there, bring these out like that as well. Well, not a lever. I believe I have to do that. I'm gonna go like that. We're about to see if this is even gonna work. I do have to fill that with bone meal as well, but we'll, you know, we'll get there. One step at a time. Okay, that wasn't it. There we go. I just had it backwards. Perfect. Turn that bad boy off. I'm going to go grab more dirt, and then we'll add some bone meal. Do I have dirt over here? You know what? Who's going to know? Who's going to know? You're not going to tell anyone, right? 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 Doesn't matter. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Uh, I'll just use my... Uh, no, I'll use the cobble. Down there. Put that there. Okay. Uh, let me actually add a little bit more to here as well. Okay. Because I don't want to lose anything down there. I sense I've done something wrong. Perfect. One dispenser later. Does this work? It should. I hope so. Oh, wait. I didn't even fill it. Haha. <laughs> it would help if I did that. It would, in fact, help if I did that. There we go. Oh my god, it's so loud. Oh, this is perfect, and I'm gonna get dyes from this, and we have more stuff we can add to the bone mealer. Oh, this is amazing. Let's run this bad boy for a minute, and then start collecting up all the resources we're gonna need to build right here. Okay, I got a little carried away with supply gathering, but I did end up running out of bone meal in the tree farm. So I switched to, uh, you know, essentially manual mode, growing trees and getting us a bunch of podzel. Mostly because there was this weird hole right here in the ground and like the pathway and I'm not sure what happened. So I filled it in and then proceeded to get carried away with planning out where the road is going to or the type of road we're going to go with. But we're going to get back into actually building the farmhouse. And I'm going to start by 
grabbing all of our pods. But also, I do want spruce because that is the main support block. I love that having moss means we now have pretty much infinite dirt, right? So that's going to go there. Then one, two, three, four, five. I think that's going to be a good entryway. Right? Okay, and then that one's going to go there. And then one, two, three, four, five. You guys are going to have to listen to the sound, the sweet, sweet sound of my ankles crunching as I build this. Our little farmhouse that's not so little. Uh, I did overdo it on supply gathering, but that's okay. Now I have plenty of supplies to build with, and I'm not even mad about that. Uh, I did also change up the fact that this is not a farm anymore. Originally, this was going to be our sheep farm. I was going to stick them inside and just have like the pickup be in here. And honestly, I had a, a lot of fun doing an interior instead. So we still do need a sheep farm. But... This is what we got. There are also temporary blocks. The pumpkins are temporary blocks for orange concrete, orange glazed terracotta, or orange terracotta in general. Um, one of those three would fit there. I'm still working with mason villagers, and I do want to fix this as well. But this is what we got from this side. This is the front angle. If we pop over here, along where the, the road is probably going to go, we got this side of the building. I did do some shadow work and like highlighting with the leaves on this side. I figured this will probably be a little bit more in shadow once we build up this building. So the leaves won't be as bright. From over here we have this side. This side is a little messy to me because I flip flopped these two windows. This window was originally on that side and I feel like I have to make that little flower bed smaller. It, it, it seems so awkward. And this bay window used to be on this side. Um, but I'm not sure entirely how I feel about it. And the other thing we have to do is we have to fix the roofs. These are very boring and basic. But until we get lichen, I, I didn't feel the need to put texture on it. So next episode, I feel like we're going to go to the geode and get some lichen so we can finish off the roofs on this and get it all textured and sort it out the back is done it's just very flat because we're going to put a build behind it but if we come in here we've got a little bit of detail in here uh this was too small to put a flower box in come in here we got a nice hail bale being lifted up i want to put a grindstone there so it looks like that's lowering and raising it we'll put our animals in here got places for food and water and so that they can't get out I feel like this will be pigs and like cows because they don't need the grass. We got a nice little area to do hoof work and like take care of the animals. And then plenty of space up here for more hay bales, which I do plan on adding. So there's that. I just, I don't have enough wheat for hay bales yet. So that's going to take a little while to get and I couldn't be bothered. We've got a nice cute little personal garden out here. Uh, I do want to expand it out just a little bit more, but my chests were in the way again. 
I thought this build was going to be a lot bigger than it is. Because for me, this is a small build. For me, this is, this is quite small. But let's head on in. And we can look around. We got a little place for your shoes and maybe your keys or like hanging your jacket to dry. If we come up here, we got more space. I don't know why, but these like make me think like you'd put like, obviously it's for books, but like you could put shoes or like random stuff. Maybe your keys go here. Got a nice little coat closet. I might put a armor stand in later. Uh, we got plenty of plants around. I am a crazy plant lady. Therefore, plants will be a part of everything because bushes make every minecraft world better uh if you know anything about how i do interiors especially over on my hardcore world on twitch.tv slash rain acclaimed you know everybody gets a melon cactus this is my favorite plant design i've ever done it looks like a, a cactus but it is just a melon on a composter uh, we also need a brewing stand for right here again the pumpkins are temporary i just didn't have the orange blocks i needed um, cause I feel like this would be a nice coffee bar. You come down the stairs at the beginning of the day and boom, coffee. Uh, and then you could just take it out here into your nice little chair, sip your coffee and watch ships go by and just enjoy the fresh air. We got our nice little kitchen with plenty of spaces for spices and foods. We got a mushroom. We got some leafy greens. We got some dandelions. We got a nice little, uh, food garden here. And then with some of the windows, if they're paned, they're all the way down. But if I wanted them open, I tried to make it look like maybe like the, the panes slid up into each other. And that's where we get the glass blocks. So like this one has the window open. Those ones do as well. But over there, those ones are down because they're not helping with the uh, proverbial cross breeze. But if we come up here, it's kind of empty up here. I just put a bed with like an alarm clock. Um, cause like, this is a small space. I wasn't entirely sure what to do. The, the blocks I would probably use in here, I don't have as much access to. And, or what I was going to do is very bulky and it feels like it takes up too much space coming in and there's a solid block right here or right here. So if you know what to put in this room, maybe in this hallway, although I don't think it really needs anything. Or if you have a better idea besides this couch, cause I'm not fond of this couch here. Like, obviously, we'd sit here and listen to some music. Eventually, I would like to get a jukebox to put in here. And then it's actually a music player. But this this space is a little awkward with the stairs being here and these being here. So if you have some ideas for what could go here, that would be awesome. However, and most importantly, if you have a name for our cute little farmstead, please let me know because I'm going to put it up here on these hanging signs. So feel free to leave the name of this farmstead in the comments. I'm going to pick the best one um, and put it on there next time. But with that being said, thank you guys so, so much for hanging and vibing. I really do appreciate you guys being here and I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.